The concept of Western art and beauty is a complex, multifaceted one, with no single, definitive answer. It is a subject that has been debated and discussed for centuries, and continues to be a subject of debate today. At its core, it can be said that the concept of Western art and beauty is an idea rooted in the cultural norms and values of the West. Many would argue that this idea of beauty is under threat in the modern world, with mass media, celebrity culture and technology having a huge influence on what is considered to be stylish and attractive. On the other hand, there are those who argue that Western art and beauty is far from being in peril. They argue that the Western aesthetic is actually going through a renaissance, with traditional styles being blended with modern elements in increasingly creative and interesting ways. Furthermore, they argue that the concept of aesthetics is far more subjective than ever before, and that there is no single definition of beauty that everyone must adhere to. In conclusion, the debate surrounding Western art and beauty is one that is not likely to be settled any time soon. Ultimately, it appears that the concept of beauty is ever-evolving and subjective, with different people having different ideas about what is beautiful and attractive. Beauty is a concept that has been debated for centuries and it is an idea that has been interpreted in a variety of ways. Plato was famously one of the first to propose a theory of beauty, stating that beauty is a perfect, ideal form that exists outside of time and space. This idea is known as the eidos, or the form of beauty. However, more recent interpretations of beauty have suggested that it is a much more relative concept than Plato's eidos. This is mainly because beauty is subjective and can be seen differently by different people. For example, what one person may consider to be beautiful may not be seen as such by someone else. Additionally, beauty is also influenced by social and cultural norms, which means that what is seen as beautiful in one society may not be seen as such in another. This suggests that beauty is an ever-changing concept that is determined by the people around us. In conclusion, it appears that beauty is a concept that is both relative and ever-changing. While Plato's theory of the eidos still provides an interesting perspective, it cannot be said to be the only correct interpretation of beauty. The relationship between the sacred and the profane in art has always been a complex one, and it is one that has shifted and evolved over the centuries. In the past, most art was considered to be sacred, with artwork often depicting religious or spiritual scenes and symbols. This kind of artwork was seen as having a special significance and purpose in society. However, as time has gone on, the distinction between the sacred and the profane in art has become less distinct. In the modern age, art is no longer seen as having a single purpose or meaning, and artwork is now seen as having multiple interpretations and meanings. As such, it can be argued that the concept of the sacred in art has begun to give way to the profane. This is most evident in the way that art is now used to make political and social statements, to challenge cultural norms, and to explore the deeper meaning of life. In conclusion, it appears that the divide between the sacred and the profane in art is becoming less distinct, with artwork increasingly being used as a tool to explore a variety of ideas and topics. Art is no longer just something to be admired and revered, but rather something to be explored and questioned. The role of the political class in preserving traditional concepts of art and beauty is a complex and contentious issue. On the one hand, some argue that the political class should be defending traditional concepts of art and beauty in order to preserve and promote cultural heritage and shared values. On the other hand, others suggest that the political class should not be defending traditional concepts of art and beauty, as this could limit the range of artistic expression and creativity. By seeking to restrict artistic expression, some fear that the political class would be creating an environment in which it is harder for artists to express themselves freely. Ultimately, it seems that the best approach is a balance between the two perspectives. The political class should be open to a range of different perspectives and artistic styles, while at the same time protecting certain traditional concepts of art and beauty. This would ensure that artistic expression is allowed to flourish while also preserving the shared values and cultural heritage of a society. Activists targeting artworks for climate change causes is a highly contentious issue. On the one hand, some argue that it is perfectly reasonable for activists to target artworks in order to publicize their cause and draw attention to the issue of climate change. After all, art has often been used as a tool to draw attention to important causes. On the other hand, 
others suggest that it is wrong to target artworks for climate causes, as it devalues the art and overlooks the artist's work. Additionally, some worry that this approach could be detrimental to the cause, as it might alienate potential supporters. Ultimately, it seems that the best approach is to strike a balance between the two perspectives. Activists should ensure that the artworks they target are done in a respectful manner, and that the artist is given the opportunity to have their work respected and appreciated. Additionally, activists should ensure that their actions are focused on raising awareness and inspiring action, rather than on simply damaging artworks. By following these guidelines, activists can ensure that their efforts to draw attention to climate change are effective, while also respecting the artist's work.